Hey everyone, the next challenge is Rev CT of D plus. Um, I don't know how many solves I had, but it was kind of an easy medium challenge. Um, it was made by Applet123. It says CTFD is too unsufferably slow. You know what? Because they use a SQL database that's bogged down by joins instead of a web scale database like MongoDB. MongoDB is web scale. You turn it on and it scales right up. You know what's more web scale though? Nothing. That's right. The throughput of dev null is off the charts. Behold CTFD plus the first database less CTF platform. Can you get the flag for the only challenge? Uh, I was excited for this challenge. Uh, I used to work at Mongo. Um, obviously the MongoDB is web scale meme is all over the place. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. Uh, we're given one file. Uh, I already have Ghidra loaded, but um, to, to do, we can see what type of file it is. It is just a, an elf file, uh, so we can run it. CTFD plus. It says, welcome to CTFD plus. So far, we only have one challenge, which is way more than the number of databases we have. We're given a very doable pwn for 500 points uh, with zero solves, and we have to pwn a program that only writes puts. Um, obviously, this is impossible, and somehow we're supposed to get a flag out of this. So if we do ABC123, we get incorrect flag. We can do an S trace and see if it's doing uh, some compare or something for an easy win. Um, so this is everything. Here it was writing out that C program. It's asking us for the flag. LACTF, please. And it gives a read and then a write. So no luck. Um, the next step is to load it in Ghidra. Uh, I thought I had it open. Yep, uh, it's here. So if you go to the entry function, uh, you can click here. This is where main is. We can rename it. Uh, we have main. Um, the same sort of stuff we saw, very doable pwn, blah, blah, blah. The C program It's going to read some input. Um, we're going to null terminate. It's going to read some data. Uh, it's going to do some stuff. We have an exit condition here, uh, incorrect flag, after it calls this function. Otherwise, at the very end, it says we got the right flag. So pretty standard reversing function. If we look at this line, um, Doing a bunch of XOR math, uh, so we see some shifting, U parameter, there's some leet, and there's some 420 leet. So really we have to reverse this algorithm, but uh, since we're lazy, we're not gonna do that. Um, instead, we're going to defer, I actually, and that's pretty much it. That's that, That's the entire binary, it's just kind of decoding this function. And if it's just a bunch of XORs and stuff, um, it's like a perfect target for anger, uh, which will just automatically solve this in like two seconds. Um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So. Uh, this challenge was super simple if you know Anger. Um, Anger is a symbolic engine. Um, it'll basically run this uh, program and it'll record uh, symbolically uh, the state of everything. So instead of passing input, Anger is going to pass this symbolic input <clears throat> and construct a bunch of math equations. And it's going to look for a possible way to get to a location we specify. So we're going to tell Anger, hey, I want you to get to this line while avoiding this line and figure out the correct input that makes it true. Um, it's absolute magic. Uh, sometimes it, it doesn't always work, um, but when it does work, absolute magic, I love it. So uh, this is the solve script. Um, uh, that thankfully this is a very simple challenge for Anger. So we're given, we're gonna load the project. This is our CTFD binary. Uh, this is the base address. So we, we can specify where we want it to be loaded into Anger's like virtual memory. Um, the initial state, so we're just saying, uh, this is like kind of like an execution thread. Uh, I print out the initial state just to see what the address is, just to make sure everything aligns. Then you can do this thing called a factory. It's not too excited. It's related to an uh, anger, but basically this is a way to uh, group together multiple sort of execution threads. Because uh, like at every if condition, you're going to have two different paths. And so anger is going to step forward both of those paths until it equal either reaches a good address or a bad address. Anyways, we define good addresses and bad addresses. Um, you get these in Ghidra. So the good address is here. So we just record this uh, this hex value right here because this is where we want to get to. Um, and we specified a base address of zero, so we don't need that initial one. Uh, so it's just 112E. And then uh, we need a 112E and then the, the void address is 117. So if we get here, we know we're wrong, 1117. And then you just tell Anger, hey, explore all the paths. Um, it's automatically going to read in from standard in. Uh, and Anger's just going to pass it a bunch of input, and it's just going to say explore all the paths until you're able to get to good, uh, and that's it. So we do Python, oops, Python three solve. Um, Anger can take a second, like it's again, it's like virtually simulating all this stuff. It's making all that those symbolic states, and then it's using Z three under the hood, um, and it, yeah, it builds out those like complex math equations such that 
uh, it'll all those Ghidra lines that we saw will uh, line up correctly. Um, yeah, I think it. I don't think it took more than a minute to solve it last time. Um, but yeah, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Cool. Um, that's probably about a minute. Um, and yeah, it just pops out the flag. So LACTF. Maybe there is something to using four dB. Um, this could definitely be made faster. Uh, I didn't constrain the input. Like I could have seen how long the input is because it's using all of this as input and uh, there's stuff we could have done to speed it up, but it finished within a minute, so really not too bad. Um, if you haven't used Angry before, I highly recommend checking it out and learning it. It usually solves at least one or two CTF problems um, and it's just three points. Like I think I solved this challenge in like, I don't know, less than three minutes because I already have this template from somewhere else. I just insert the good address, the bad address, and then I let it run in the background and then I take my flag and I submit it. So a uh, very useful tool to know. Anyways, thanks. See ya.